Our text for this morning comes from Psalm 55 and verse 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. Care, even though exercised upon legitimate objects, if carried to excess, has in it the nature of sin. The precept to avoid anxious care is earnestly inculcated by our Savior again and again. It is reiterated by the apostles, and it is one which cannot be neglected without involving transgression. For the very essence of anxious care is the imagining that we are wiser than God, and the thrusting ourselves into His place to do for Him that which He has undertaken to do for us. We attempt to think of that which we fancy He will forget. We labor to take upon ourselves our weary burden, as if He were unable or unwilling to take it for us. Now this disobedience to His plain precept, this unbelief in His word, this presumption in intruding upon His province, is all sinful. Yet more than this, anxious care often leads to acts of sin. He who cannot calmly leave his affairs in God's hand, but will carry his own burden, is very likely to be tempted to use wrong means to help himself. This sin leads to a forsaking of God as our counselor, and restoring instead to human wisdom. This is going to the broken cistern instead of to the fountain, a sin which was laid against Israel of old. Anxiety makes us doubt God's loving-kindness, and thus our love to Him grows cold. We feel mistrust, and thus grieve the Spirit of God, so that our prayers become hindered, our consistent example marred, and our life one of self-seeking. Thus want of confidence in God leads us to wander far from Him. But if through simple faith in His promise we cast each burden as it comes upon Him, and are careful for nothing, because He undertakes to care for us, it will keep us close to Him, and strengthen us against much temptation. Thou wilt keep Him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on Thee, because He trusteth in Thee. <laughs> 